G'day guys, in this video I'm going to share with you 5 insane movie theories, so grab your tinfoil hats and let's go. The first theory revolves around a scene where Gimli talks to Legolas in Lord of the Rings. Here the dwarf explains how he takes his worst wound upon departing from the fairest creature he has ever seen, Galadriel. He explains that when he last saw the High Elf, he asked for one of her hairs and that she gifted him three. The theory concludes that Legolas, who had previously disliked dwarves in general, changed his mind at this moment because of an ancient story regarding Galadriel. The legend goes that Feanor, a high king who predates Middle-earth and is largely responsible for his creation, was infatuated with Galadriel, yet she did not feel the same. Feanor asked her three times for a single strand of her hair, and each time Galadriel refused. Because Legolas knows the significance of this story, he realises the good in Gimli, all the while the dwarf carries on, not knowing the great reasoning as to why this gift was so special. The next theory is based on the character Jack from the Titanic being a time traveller whose actions may have inadvertently resulted in the ship sinking. It uses some plot holes in Jack's script for evidence, such as him mentioning that he will take Rose on a roller coaster at the Santa Monica Pier, even though it wasn't built at the time. It also says that his haircut was out of style for the era. Apparently the intention of this time traveller was to save Rose from committing suicide off the bow of the ship. It could have been possible that if he were not there, Rose would have jumped, forcing the ship to turn around and search for her, thus altering the course of timing for the Titanic's impending collision with that iceberg. Ever thought that Willy Wonka was a bit creepy? This theory takes that premise to a new level, claiming that the confectionery wizard planned the deaths of the visitors to his factory. The basis of this assumption comes after Augustus has been removed from the tour and they board a ship which has the exact number of correct seats. And that later on, the car which generates bubbles has the correct amount of seats for the number of people in his party. It even goes further, claiming that he uses the children to make candy. In the world of Batman, the Joker seems like a normal human being who is just out of his mind. Our next theory says that the Joker, in fact, has a superpower in the form of impeccable timing. With this superpower, he is able to create these elaborate traps and plans where he is caught but still able to escape later on. The theory goes on to claim that the Joker is unaware of his superpower. This final theory is definitely one of the more darker takes on a seemingly light-hearted story. In Finding Nemo, Marlon is the father of the main character who is overprotective of his son after the death of his partner. The theory paints the picture that Nemo is in fact not real and symbolises Marlon's inability to overcome the loss of his family. The movie goes through stages of grief, denial, anger, bargaining, despair and finally ending where he finds acceptance and allows Nemo to be more adventurous. The movie even ends with Marlon saying goodbye son and Nemo replying goodbye dad as he swims away. It even adds more tinfoil evidence due to the word Nemo being Latin for one. Thanks for watching Quick Law. As always, hit that like button and share this video around if you enjoyed it. See you guys next time.